In this movie I will show you how to trace a background image and use the result for auto punch embroidery software. If you can't draw, no problem, you can trace. Choose many background and load a background image from file. In the folder pattern samples there is a special example that you can use. Click on open. No need to change anything here, just click on OK. I don't need a grid for this particular image, so I can take it off. And let me zoom in on the part that I want to trace. Take the zoom tool and click on the part that you want to zoom in on. Then take the curve tool and click from point to point. Use as few points as possible. If you make a mistake, you can use the backspace key on your keyboard to step back. Just keep click clicking. For embroidery, you need closed shapes. So click the last point on top of the first. Right click to finish. And take the select tool and select and move points to perfect the lines. Just click and move. The result of this pattern is going to be a color bitmap, so I will change the view menu to show color filled. To color, just click on the palette and then in the, in the shape. I don't need my background image anymore, so I hide it. This flower petal can easily be turned into a flower using the magic circle. So click on the magic circle. Change the number of objects, play with the spacing settings, fine tune with the arrow key, and click on OK. Press the spacebar to fit the view. Color the petals. It's not too important though, as the final coloring is done in your embroidery digitizing software later. Ready. Save the pattern. Always save as a pre-file first. Give it a proper name. One that you can remember later too. Just flower won't really do, but for now click on save. And then export it in the desired format. To use it for auto punch in digitizing software, you need export color bitmap. This produces a perfect solid color bitmap. Click on save. As soon as you click on save, the program wants to know the pixel size. Artista, Husqvarna, Viking and Pfaff, you need 1200 pixels. For PE design and palette, 700 pixels is fine. In this example, I will open the color bitmap in PE design next. This is PE Design Next, Layout and Editing. The bitmap we just exported from PE Design is an image, so click on the menu Image to bring up the right ribbon. Then click on Open from File and select and open the exported image. Let me zoom out by using this slider bar here over on the right. The image is too big, but I keep it in this size for now for best quality. In the image ribbon, click on auto punch. As the quality of the image is just perfect, you don't have to do much. Just click on next, next, and decide then if you want a black outline. You can tick it off here. I will tick the white background off, and then click on finish. Designs made in layout and editing are vector based, so I can resize and the stitch count will be adapted for you. Let's just move it to the center here. You can either ungroup or change the properties of the separate parts by holding down the Alt key and click in a region. You can change anything here. Just as if you had dis digitized this pattern here, instead of tracing it a few minutes, 
and pre-design studio. Check the Sew Simulator. And then save on a USB thumb drive. Insert into your machine and embroider. Thank you for watching. Be sure to read the Pre-Design Studio user guide. It contains